Good evening, the Carrick fan here. So the transfer window has just closed and I just want to do a qu quick review. Right, um, for me, if I had to rate our transfer window, I'd probably rate about 7 or 8 uh, out of 10. We've kept David De Gea, which is a massive, massive positive in my opinion. I was quite worried that we were going to lo lose the best goalkeeper in the world again for the second or third summer in a row. But I'm glad we've kept him and I'm glad the club's kept their stance of saying, no to Real Madrid every time they kept coming back to us. We've also improved our front line with um, Romelu Lukaku coming in. He's had a great start to the season thus far. And Slasan kept coming back. He'll, he'll be back in January, recovering from his injury. And we've improved that mi our midfield with Nemanja Matic coming in as well. He's been fantastic for me, signing the, uh, 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 signing the, of, the of the season in my opinion. For £40 million, pounds, that, that's an absolute bargain considering how much players are going in the market nowadays. Um, no, no, nothing happens today apart from few, few loans here and there. Um, also, I'm glad Andres Pereira is staying. For me, I, I, I rate this player very highly. I've seen him in the uh, under-23s under for, for the last couple of years. Yeah, so very, very happy with with our transfer business, but I would have li liked the wing wingers to come in, hence what I've rated the 7 out of 10. I could have gone with a 9, but I thought 7, seven or 8 would, it was more realistic. So yeah, I'm glad the transfer window's all over and done with. None, none of these ITK bullshit bollocks accounts saying, oh, retweet this for massive news in 5 minutes. Oh, I'm like, fuck off. Attention seeking little wankers. My soul said this, my soul said that I have massive news in 5 minutes. I've have massive news in twenty minutes. I'm like fuck off. They just you. They just copying other people's information and 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 pretend and pretending it's theirs as well. Um, so deadline day's been a mad one today. Lamar's rejected Darstal. Barclays re re rejected Chelsea and City. Um, yeah, City. Um, and haven't signed Sanchez for me. As a whole, as a whole today, but a positive day as a United fan for me because had Sanchez gone to City, I think it would have been a game changer. But he's not at City, and for me, that that uh, I think for me that that's when that's when I lost the title today. Whoever wins the league um, this season, they're gonna they're gonna pinpoint to this night, August thirty first, twenty seventeen, in my opinion, because. Like I said, had Sanchez gone to City, I think I think he might he might have won in the league. I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah. So overall, I'm so yeah I'm yeah I'm I'm happy with the transfer window that transfer business that we've done. But could have been worse. Could be Chelsea ticket taking all the else being rejected by Lukaku, Lorenzo, Oxley Chamberlain, now Barkley. Right to me, I'm Carrick for United. Subscribe to my channel, the Car channel the Carrick fan. Comment below that video. Adios.